Yo, so what is going on, bros and of the internet? My name, of course, is Big Mac, and today I'm going to bring you guys a Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls guide that should work on all console versions. Not too sure about the PC version, but it would definitely work on all current console versions to date. Uh, eventually, it probably might get patched, and there might be improvements for both the PS4 and the Xbox One version. I'm currently playing this on the PS4, so when there is an improvement, I will be able to make you guys a video. So today it's going to be the Witch Doctor that's going to come up and I'm going to talk to you guys about skills and the basic character details needed for this build to work and for it to become viable. So let's begin. So for the skills I've got X um, mapped to the Firebomb signature spell which is basically the spell that will regen you mana if I do believe correctly. If not then I might be mistaken if you... If you wish to correct me put it down in the comments down below with the pyrogia pyrogiest pyrogiest rune added to it so that basically creates a column of flame that spews fire at the closest enemy i'll quickly show you that in motion so as you can see there that is the pyrogiest rune going off and this builds up quite a bit of crit uh within the build i'll actually show it off in the in me showing the build in motion later on in the video. So on R2 I have Fire Bats with Cloud of Bats. Now Cloud of Bats has been a big part of my Witch Doctor build in every single patch up to date. Uh, it's been really one of the key overpowerments to the Witch Doctor. And basically what this does is summon a cloud of bats around you that causes fire damage. Uh, initially costing 150 mana, but in it did like, but with 75 mana while channeling per second, which to be fair with this build, you're not going to have to worry about mana regen at all because I have got it all covered in the character details. Uh, really overpowered, probably one of the one I pretty much spam this ability and the X. So yeah. So on the square, I've got Gargantuan with Wrathful Protector. Now, originally this Witch Doctor was going to be a pet build, uh, but luckily enough I got rolled a Syndicate from Kadala, so I wished, wished to make a fire build, so this is where this comes into play. I just wanted to add this for more damage, this can do 15 million crits, uh, eventually I will get it to much higher, but it's when I invest time into making... Uh, and getting the right equipment needed for the build. So on the triangle I've got Fetish Army with Headhunter's Rune. Now basically these guys are little bastards and they follow you about and they really do, with the smaller packs at least, they can kill them off quite easily. The trash mobs, they take care of them, you haven't really got to worry about them. Just Plop down an X, a few X's, and you're good to go. Beast Fetish Army will uh, demolish the rest of it. So on Circle, I've got Spirit Walk with Honoured Guest. Now, this is ba this is basically my escape. Uh, if you've got Frozen, Ward, uh, Jailer, Jailer you, these are going to be the ones that are going to save your life, uh, especially when you're on low health. These also gain mana uh, whilst you're in Spirit Walk, which, to be fair, if you you don't really need it because you're not going to actually lose a lot of mana. But it's going to be one of these things where it's kind of good that you have it anyway, just in case uh, you do actually run out of mana. So on R1, I've got Big Bad Voodoo with Rain Dance. Again, another rune that restores mana. But basically, Big Bad Voodoo uh, increases your attack and movement speed thus giving you more damage so it's really good for when you're doing elite mobs uh, bosses any blue mobs pretty much other than trash mobs these re this is a really good uh, spell to have so on the passives I've got bad medicine which uh, when you deal poison damage to an enemy its damage is reduced by 20% for 3 seconds this I actually should change uh, and I will probably change it to something else right now. I'm just going to quickly look through. 
Right, so we're going to reduce the cooldown of your fetish army, big bad voodoo, hex, gargantuan, summon zombie dogs, and mass confusion for 25 seconds. Uh, it used to be a poison pet build that I was using. Of course, I've probably not saved it before I've done this video, so my bad on that. Second passive I've got is fetish psychopant. Psychopants? Which basically gives you a 10% chance to summon a dagger wielding fetish to fight by your side for 60 seconds. This one is a bit more of a damaged based fetish. Uh, of course, this is the fetish army. And it basically does quite a good amount of damage uh, to any sort of mobs. Uh, more damage than the fetish army, but less damage than the gargantuan. Probably about the same damage as what you will actually put out uh, you yourself. So on the third passive I've got Spirit Vessel which reduces the cooldown of Spirit Walk, Soul Harvest and Horrify. In addition, the next time you take Fatal Damage you automatically enter the Spirit Realm which is basically what the Spirit Walk is for 2 seconds and heal 15% of your maximum life. Again, a really good lifeline for when you're fighting elite packs with really nasty affixes. Uh, been there before, Frozen, Arcane, Molten desecrator you name it i've been against it and this has saved me quite a few times pierce the veil all of your damage is increased by 20 percent, but your mana costs are increased by 30 percent again this is really one of these runes where uh, passive sorry where it's good because it well you need it for more damage of course but also, you kind of got to also worry about your mana regen. So if your mana regen isn't just quite there yet, I would probably say maybe maximum mana with the spiritual attunement. Maybe also blood ritual if you've got a lot of life. Or maybe even just jungle fortitude so that you've got, so that you reduce damage that you've got. But anyway, this is uh, pretty much my build. I've got... I'll quickly zoom through the best bits that you're going to need. 911k damage, uh, 6885 vit, 1.81 attacks per second, 60.4% crit chance, 331% crit damage, no cooldown reduction. Although, if there's one thing that I can probably say to you guys, is stack a bit more cooldown reduction and actually sacrifice a bit of crit hit chance, maybe 10%. Uh, it would really help you, it would help me in the build. Fire damage increase. Now, one thing that I haven't forgot, I have forgot to tell you about this uh, syndicate. So it reduces the resource cost of fire skills by 20, 28%. So pretty much all of my skills are actually fire based. Well, actually, two of them are the two main ones that I need the damage output ones are actually fire based uh, spells so therefore with 28% I'm saving a lot of mana and that enables me to spam more so if you do get a syndicate I highly recommend using it it's really worth it plus also it gives you 17% extra damage to fire skills so pretty much that's the uh, that's the bit that's given me all the decent cooldown and stuff within this build so without further ado, we'll uh, get into the build. We're on Torment 2. Uh, I can do this on Torment 3, but I'm not too uh, not too confident about it. So let's go. Let's go straight into this. I'm going to do a quick bounty uh, kill of Gorag. Kill Gorag or Gorog the Bruiser. So let's begin. Let's go straight into this. We're on Torment 2, I do believe. Yep. So yeah, let's get going. So we're going to spam the spirit ward to just get through, uh, through empty bits. So again, we're just going to keep spamming spells. Pretty much take out stuff pretty easily. These little critters here, just, just really nothing. You just, just face roll straight through these. Pick up any of these Nephilim globes and any health that you can see. So here comes the leak pack. Let's pop our big bad voodoo. Literally, there you go. Straight out, straight out and done. So easy. This is a face roll build uh, for any high end players on the Witch Doctor. Again, just keep popping the cloud of bats. 
literally will just face roll straight through them. If you see an enemy up ahead, just press X. You can summon three of these at a time, these uh, X spells, the signature spells that you've got mapped. And there's Gorag done. And how easy was that? That was quick, easy, simple. And in fact, I'll quickly show you Asmodan seeing as we're quite near to what he's going to see what he's going to drop, hopefully a legendary whilst on video. So literally just spamming the cloud of bats and actually put out a few of the signature spells. When you see the fireball coming, just enter the spirit walk. Doesn't matter. We're not going to need it much anyway. We're going to down him pretty quick. Fetish army up. And cloud of bats is killed. No legendary unfortunately. But some more some more salvageable stuff so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, I shall put out some more uh, content some more guides for Diablo 3 for different builds and classes uh, if this build helped you in any way leave it a like and I'll see you guys in the next video